Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video. Our application right now is missing navigation links. At this point, we have three links available, login, register, and feed. Our links are protected, but we cannot navigate through them in our application. So let's begin with the navbar component. Instead of displaying home, about, and contact, I want to display login and register if we are not authenticated, and on the other case, when we are authenticated, logout and feed. I will start with the login and register first. To create a navigation link with view router, you can use the router link component. This is how you do it. Router, link, and this is the text, so the text will be login. And for the URI, you can use the to option. So to, and then you just specify the URI. In our case, it will be login. Okay, so let's give this a try. And you can see login right here. Of course, this has to be an LI. So instead, let me create an LI and put everything inside there, like this. Back to this, and now it works correctly. So let's create another link for the register. So I will just copy this and paste it right below. So this will be now register and register here. So back to this, you can see that we can go from login to register. Uh, actually, let me delete the token. So I will go to the application. I will delete the tokens and back to this reload. As you can see, login or register. Perfect. However, there is a problem here. We do not get the active CSS class. So take a look at home. So at the home ally, we have this active class, the CSS class. So because it has the active class, hard-coded actually, the background here is blue and it will always be blue wherever you are. If you go to the login, the home will always be active. So it is hard-coded and this is why it is always like that. So step one, let me get rid of the links here. So just delete everything. And step two, let's see how router link works. So if I go right here and I inspect this, and let me also open the other LI. So right now we are in the register URI. So as you can see, the class here is router-link-active. However, if I click on login, now the login anchor tag gets this CSS class and it is removed from the register anchor tag. So because of this, you can add your CSS inside the navbar. So let me show you right here in the style. So this class for this is a router link active. So let me get that. I will set the background color to blue and the color, the text color to white. So if I go back to this and I click login, uh, actually we forgot the semicolon. Okay, let me try this again. Okay, as you can see, login is active, so it gets that CSS style. However, when we click to register, now register gets the CSS class and of course the style together with that. However, we already have the active class from Bootstrap that will do this stuff for us. So there is no need to add our own CSS. So we just need to change the class name that ViewRouter uses, which as you see right here is a router link active to simply active, which was what we had for the home page. So let me get rid of the style here and the script, they are not needed. And inside the routes.js, we will apply the change right after our routes option. So this is where we declare our routes. And right after this, I will use the new option that will change the class to active. So the option is called link active class. And we want to change it from the default one, which was, what was it? It was a router link active to active, which is what Bootstrap uses. Okay, perfect. However, don't be happy yet. Uh, yes, the class name is now active. As you can see, it is active now. And let me also open this ally. So if I go to login, again, it is active. So you can see how the class changes between the anchor tags. 
However, we do not get that CSS design, that CSS style. So this is because the active class should be applied to the li and not the anchor tag. Because look at here. We apply the active CSS class to the anchor tag and not the li. And Bootstrap requires the active class to be inside the li. So let's notify ViewRouter that we want the li to get active and not the anchor tag. And you know what? With this, we do not need this allies anymore. So let me get rid of this. So I just delete all of them. There is no need for ally anymore. Because we will do it right here. So the tag will be ally. And here as well, the tag will be ally. And the last step is to add the anchor tag inside here, but without any option. So this will still remain a register. And here again, we use the anchor tag without any option, and this will be login. And if we go back to this now, we get the active class. Okay, let me take you through the steps again. So we created a router link for each navigation link, right? To specify the URI, you can use the two option. Now, view router by default will apply the router link active class to the active link. But in our case, we do not want that because we have to write our own CSS. Bootstrap already provides the active class with some CSS and we can use that one instead. And because ViewRouter can be configured very easily, right here we can specify the active class by using the link active class option. Then we simply wrap the text within an anchor tag without any option and that is all. Okay, so we want to show these links, these two links here, only if we are not authenticated. So we have to find out if the user is authenticated or not. So first, let me define the data. So I will create a script here, export default. So the data, what is the data? Well, we want to see if the user is authenticated. So we can see here is af. And by default, this will be now. And on created, we want to set the value to true or false. So I will access the created lifecycle hook, which is a function. So this auth is auth, sorry. So this is auth equals to this auth is authenticated. And remember, is authenticated is a function that we have available from the package that we built. As you can see here, we have this function here is authenticated. So this is what we actually access here. So this will return true or false. And to see if this is true, let me get the view dev tool. So if I go to the nav bar, you can see that is off is false right now because we are not authenticated because I deleted the token earlier. So right now I will add two more links. So let me copy this, paste it, and I will change this to feed and this one to logout. Okay, let's go back to this. And as you can see, we can see all of them. So for these two cases, feed and logout, I want to check if the user is authenticated and you can see the difference. So let me start with this one first. So we want to show this link only if the user is not authenticated. So this is why I have this exclamation mark here. And I access the is auth. And the same will be for the register. So if the user is not authenticated, show the link. However, here we want to show the link only if the user is authenticated. So is auth without the exclamation mark. And the same here, is off. So if I go back to this now, we do not see feed and logout anymore because we are not authenticated. However, the moment we authenticate, let's see, secret, login. You can still see login and register. So the navigation bar is still having the old links. To fix this, you have to refresh the browser. And now you will get feed and logout. However, the question is, 
why the links didn't change when we got authenticated and we were redirected to the feed, of course. So the answer is inside the navbar component. What do we have here? Inside this component, we are using the created lifecycle hook. So this is where we assign is auth to true or false. So the value depends from the is authenticated function. However, this is done inside the created hook. So the idea with single page applications is that you ask for the navbar only once. So when you move to another page, the navbar is still there. We do not call the navbar component again and again. So we just update the part right here, which is the main content without the navbar. So let me take you through it again, step by step. I will delete the token and I will refresh. And hopefully now you have a better idea to follow along. So enter again the credentials and the value for is off right now is false. So the moment we hit login, we are redirected to the feed page. However, everything else remains the same. The only thing that changes is this part right here, which is the content. But even for the content, we actually do not have any content. So this is aft here is still false because as we said, the navbar component sets the value in the created hook. But since the navbar component was loaded, when we were in the login page, there was no need to call it again. So we just updated the content, which as we said, is this part right here. So a temporary fix is to reload the page and this will do everything from the beginning. So this is why you now get the result. However, I do not see the products. So let me see the console. Ah, okay, it looks like the response is misspelled. So let me go to the products component. Yeah, so it has to be a response. Okay, back to this. Mm -hmm, it works. Anyway, so a temporary fix, as I said, is to reload the page. And this will refresh everything. Now we get the content. With the refresh, you get the content and the is auth is true. So in the next video, we will see how you can fix this without having to reload again and again. Okay, so I want to do one last thing for this video. Lots of you do not like this hashtag right here. I understand that it might be a bit distracting and I will show you how to remove it. However, personally, I don't find it distracting. To say the truth, I never remove the hashtag until I'm ready to put the project alive. So during development, I always have it here. Anyway, this depends on you. So to remove this, you have to go to, guess where, <laughs> the routes.js file. So this is where you specify the routes and any other option. So to remove the hashtag, the mode should be history. So just say here, mode history, and this will do the trick. So if I go back, this will not work anymore. And you have to remove the hashtag. You go to the feed. Okay. It looks like there is a problem here. Uh, invalid mode history. Mm. Oh, okay. My bad. I added the brackets there. You do not need a bracket, just history. And now it works. And of course, we will see later in the course why the hashtag is there by default. For now, enjoy the rest of your day or night and we will meet again in the next screencast. Music